Good morning, everyone. This is Anne-Marie. Today is Tuesday, January the 15th, and here's a look at the SPY very quickly. We still have our range set for midline right here. Um, monthly VWAP it's still cresting a little bit. We're still sitting on top of this moving average that we watch. We are sitting above the breakout level. We held these levels really nicely. There are buyers coming in here, propping this up. What's What do we need to look at today? Well, in essence, I, I do believe that what we are getting into is a very pretty squeeze that's going to allow for really stellar acceleration in one direction or another. From the top, it looks like 147.20. When that leaves, we'll have nice acceleration, probably for another dollar or so, into this area. And underneath, it's a little bit sloppier, right? It could be this level, 146.44, which I'm more inclined to believe, or it could be this level up here because so much energy is being exerted holding the price up at this level that if it does end up with a candlestick close under here, we are going to see acceleration down into the midline of this formation. All right, so again, let's take a look a little closer at what the trade of the day looks like it's going to be, and then we'll take a look at these closer. Uh, yes, see this flattening action right here. This uh, detrended price oscillator, or the DPO, is a good indicator of the type of price action that's moving, and that is pretty close to zero. So not a ton of momentum sitting here. This is options expiration week. I did say yesterday that I thought that we would ramble about, and we did. For the person that was looking for the trending trade in the broad market, it was not there. Level-to-level -level trading continues to be the best course of action here. I am a little concerned about it holding the level, and I surmise that since we have a high here, and a low here, and now a lower high here, that we should drift on down into this area. So there may be some good trading action that could bring us into the base of the gap if there's a lot of traction that can get it back to the upside right there. So far, uh, what I'm seeing for a number of things is the best thing to do is just sit on your hands and wait it out, right? toughest thing for a, a day trader to do, even the most experienced of us, is to sit and wait for the opportune event. If we are trading in between these regions, your price, uh, your candlesticks should be a little bit uh, smaller, and you should be very clear about your entry and exit, and don't lollygag around in there. You know, just uh, if you want to say, hey, but what if it pops out? Super. Put yourself a, st a very tight stop once you get into your targets. All right? Uh, good luck today.